Welcome to Peaceful Streaming. So, uh, trying to get my microphone in place here. So, I am back in the job, the early access job. Not the, well, it is early access. The birthday update jobs. Um, oh my God, I'm going to finish the steam locomotive if it kills me, I swear. Um, anyway, <laughs> it may kill me. Um, okay. Now, I haven't we even gone down to where it will show me on the left, the last three things. Boiler, cab bell handle. Oh, well, I know what one of these things is. Wheel well panel. I don't know about how I'm going to get that. But we will give it a shot. So it's kind of nice. It's been cloudy all day here pretty much 90% of the day. And, um, whoops, I have to, I was watching someone on Twitch. So now I'm try trying to pull up the Twitch software and it's showing me their thing and saying this ended. Yes, I know it did. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's kind of nice to go the eternal, eternally sunny, uh, environment here. Okay, so coupling rod. So this thing is dirty. So I think I see it. I may have to. Um. Oh, there. Hmm. Kind of thought that would do it. Let's see about the side of it. Okay. Oh, there's a little there. See, it's really hard to get to some of this stuff. I think. Ah, okay, back up. Okay, so the, the coupling rod's done and we had, it was down here. Crank rods, drive rods, piston rods, run boards. Um, okay, I don't think those are the... Th oh, wait a minute. Run board. That should be pretty easy, right? That is... I forget what that is. I think that's this thing up here. Uh, I meant this thing. Yeah, so that one's fine. Um... Huh. Okay. So there are there run boards for this thing? Of course there are, Deborah. Why didn't you realize that? Oh no, it's a platform. So that's weird. Okay, so I think it's time for a different a shift in perspective. I'm gonna get on the ladder and get on top. Um You know it's really weird to hear to hear those birds, but we're in the desert. Okay, so a uh, running board or run board, whole car platform. So there isn't one on here. Okay. Nope, that's the coal car platform. Okay. Oops. Try over here. Um. Okay, run board. Am I like missing something? I didn't like inadvertently finish it, right? Run. Oh, run board. I'm. A, oh my god. I. You can't even give me a list and have me succeed with it. Um. Okay. So crank rods, drive rods, piston rods, and the wheel well panel. I don't even know. And there was something about on the top of it. Boiler and cab bell handle. Okay, so this is the cab. So logically, where's the bell? Okay, so it's gotta be this, right? Bell, furnace, run board. 
bell, cab bell handle. Is that is that the bell that's inside the cab? Maybe. I don't even know if there's a bell. Cab ceiling. But what's this thing sticking out? Cab bell handle. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, so then the other things are those are the piston rods and stuff, and those could actually be on here. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No. So this has the coal car has a different configuration for its wheels. So it has to be on the cab. Um, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Yes, I. the wheel well panel. I swear that thing is just a nightmare. Crank rod. Okay, this we can do. Um, oh, there's something down there. It, Okay, it looks like there's some on the end. And then some up here. Um, it is so hard to see the dirt indicator. Okay, there we go, there's something. Uh, okay, see underneath. Nope. Okay, wait a minute. That one's fine. It's this one. I'm not seeing anything, though. Wait, there's a little there. Okay. So that one's done. Um, boiler. That's... Wait a minute. The boiler is that. Oh, crap. I remember this. I remember trying to find it. Um, okay, so I think I need to get the ladder. I'll start on, well, yeah, I'll start on the other side using the ladder. So the boiler goes, okay, all the way there. Um, okay, so I thought, oh, well, there's a little there. And that didn't do it. Maybe there's some on the other side. Uh, huh. Okay. Well, nothing is, uh, that's the furnace. This is the boiler. Like, they don't look very different. Um, okay. Let's grab the thing, see if the climbing up, uh, that won't help because the boiler is just this section. Okay. Oh, I see something there. I might have to move to get that. Is that? No, I think that was just like a reflection. Okay. Was this the one where I was just too close? I think I ran into a problem with that. Yeah, it's not. It's like right... Oh my god, there's just like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit left. Where are you? Is it, Now, that's the smoke box. So the boiler is just this section. Didn't I? I mean, okay, I can find this. Um, okay, so that perspective didn't help. I'm going to assume that crouching. No, I can't crouch because then I can't see. Um, I'm not seeing it. So this may be one of those times when I just have to start spraying it and hope that I hit whatever it is. The other thing is that the part that's really hard to get is the area in between the boiler and the run board. That was really tough. Oh, wait a minute. Got it. Okay. So I have wheel well panel, drive rod, piston rod. 
Okay, what are the drive rods look like? That's a drive rod and that one's dirty. Um, okay, I see a little there. Uh, I thought I, uh, that looks like there might be something there. I'm trying to go backward and I'm hitting like Q or something. Um, okay. Piston rod, coupling rod, piston rod. Okay, so that one's clean. So I assume it's the one on the other side because I don't see anything else that looks like that here. And then we only have to do, <sighs> yep, piston rod. Wow, that's really dirty given how far we've come. Okay. Oh, that looks like dirt, right? Yep. Okay. So yeah, that's easy. <sighs> the wheel well panel, not so much because it's behind the wheel. See, I can see it. It's getting to it. Okay. So one, let's try green, maybe just like a, a, a wide spray will get that stuff. Okay, let's move this. So it's not there. So I, so the thing is, you know what I need to check? Is it only this side or is the one on the other side connected and they're all the same? I'm just going to mute for a minute. Okay, so this is just, I think this is just the, just blanket everything with water strategy and hope that it gets through because there's just so many obstacles to this thing that, I mean, I should probably try different angles. Then of course we have the problem of it's got this shelf thing above it. So yeah, this thing's a real pain in the tuchus. Um, let's see if there's any, so is the wheel well go, yeah, the wheel well goes all the way back here. Um, okay, not that I would necessarily see it, but I don't see anything. Maybe, okay, if I stands, it, it could be back here. But I did get the other one on the other side. I mean, it's not impossible. It's just. Come on. So I'll just do it in this position. Then I'll crouch down one crouch. <laughs> and then do it from that position. I know I'm not covering it thoroughly, but I just. I'm hoping I'll get lucky and it will finish. Actually, I should. what I should be paying attention to also is the, uh, I don't, it doesn't look like I got anything from that. 
it might be just one one area um I don't think I'm gonna, at this point I don't think I'm gonna see it I think I'm gonna have to just luck into cleaning it there's so many barriers to it it's just Where did it end? Does it end? Okay, so it doesn't go all the way down, right? But pretty close. I knew this was going to be the last thing. Oh, wait a minute. I see something there. It has to be it because there's nothing else that... that... How, how do I... Wait a minute. Where was it? Okay, now I can't see it. Maybe if I just get lots of water up in there, even though I can't see it. Wait a minute. Okay. So, oh, I can't see it anymore. That means that I, it looks like I probably cleaned it, but there's more. I just don't even know how else. Um... Uh, please. So the wheel well panel, that it is there. Is it here? Yes. Okay. The possible, I haven't been paying enough attention to this section. Uh, wait a minute. Nope. So I, I have to say, I think that it would be a good idea if you're down to 99 point like 99 percent that you're able to to just no oh my god how am i supposed to get to that how am i supposed to get to that look the stream gets like screwed up every time okay so i can't so that must be it but it's really hard to get there do i see anything Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it's like you can barely see it. Okay, hang on. So I see it, but there's no good angle because I I'm too close. But then, oh man, if I that's too high. But maybe I can get just enough under it. Oh, come on. Is it going down? No, it really isn't, is it? If I just keep spraying it. Uh, let's try crouching again, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. I got it. I think I got that area, but... Oh, shoot. I wonder if that's where all of these... I can't even see them now because the, uh, what is it? The coupling rod is in the way. So I wonder if that's, oh, there's some under there. How am I supposed to get to that? Look what happens. Um, 
really narrow thing. Did I get it? It almost looks like I got it. I think I got it. Oh, I see a little. Oh my gosh, seriously. I guess maybe if I go from here. It's just I'm getting, it's hitting other stuff. Um, yeah, I just, I would definitely, hey, Elua. No, it's not. I'm doing an early stream of this and then I'm going to do House Flipper. So, because um, I wanted to, to, get, to get this in because there are a lot of people who like it on YouTube, so. Um, ah, there it is. And it's a nice relaxing game and it just had an update. So it's been one of those days at work, like not a horrible day, but like kind of stressful. So this is a good way for me to, yes, to calm down. So I'll probably be like 10, 15 minutes past six. So job complete, open tablets, continue. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like kind of clearing my mind so that I can, I can focus on, um, uh, house flipper. Cause it's more, that's more mentally demanding, but, um, and I played last night, I played my time at Sandrock, which was a lot of fun, but so I'm going to go back to house flipper and do a couple of those and then maybe do uh, my time at Sand Rock late, later on. It was fun, but a little stressful. But this one is the antithesis of stressful, even when I can't find that last bit. Oh, we have this whole area over there. Okay. Um, I guess I should finish this area first and do it through proper way but I also like that it's so sunny it's always sunny and daytime <laughs> you caught up after my stream ended oh like day before yesterday oh wait a minute that's not strong enough yeah so I'm I'm trying to remember so I'm working on that last job on Morgan's Pets Haven. Oh, right. Okay, now I remember. I started on the kitchen, and kitchens take so long. So, um, but I still have work to do on it. I'm probably going to redo a couple of things. There were a couple of things I did not like. Um, I need my ladder, I think. But um, what else is new? I'm pretty sure I like the tiles that I ch chose and everything. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I like the tiles I chose and that stuff, but there were just a couple other things that were off for me. So, but then I'm, so I'm going to do part of it as like a, you know, I'm not doing the large dining table they want you put in there because that's just ridiculous. And then uh, I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably for the second stream work on that, that bathing area. I don't even know really, um, like, uh, it's, I, I, obviously it's a bathing area, but I mean, the thing that would make the most sense is to do it all in tile, put a drain in the middle of the floor, because you know the floor is going to get wet. So I don't know. I don't remember what it is. Chances are I won't do whatever it is they tell me to do. Exactly. Anyway. So. As we know, I like to mix things up. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. It would not take me long if I just would follow the instructions, what the client wants. But you know... I, I'm just a tad opinionated and, uh, do my own thing. 
So, yeah. Yeah, and I just, I just can't. Like, some of the things they want you to do, I'm just like, oh, no, seriously. Really? You would want to live with that? No, 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 no. Not going to happen. Yeah, I did. I mean, in the beginning, I was very, like, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. And then I started going like, wait a minute, it's not me. I know their taste sucks a lot of the time. So it's not me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I mean, I, you know, honestly, I've never been that kind of person. Like, I don't. Uh, for me, it's it's like, yeah, sure, if I accidentally do a achievement or if one's like really, really easy, like there was one where you hit a car with a hammer and you get some kind of achievement. Uh, maybe was it the I'm the one who knocks one. I don't remember. But um, sure, then, then I'll do them. But other than that, uh, for me, it takes the enjoyment out of it to do it to, you know, um, at least for this kind of game. Yeah, definitely. For me, it's like I'd rather just do what, you know, make it look like I, something I would want to live with or live in. And so that's my criteria. Because you know how painful it is for me when they want, when they want, when they have something that just is like, I do not like it um and especially with the with the dlc the problem is they they're like this one especially it seems they're asking you to use stuff that i think just sucks like that that brown tile i don't like that in some cir circumstances it's good but they haven't for me they haven't used it in the right circumstances or they're just using it too much so Although actually, that one house, the one where they were going to start taking paying guests or whatever it was, they wanted it, the, the devs wanted you to do it in that one. Did I end up, I didn't end up using it, did I? I don't know. Yeah. And you know, a lot of it has to do with what mood I'm in. You know, if I just am in a mood where I don't like brown, then nothing on earth is going to convince me to, to use brown. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I totally... I mean, yeah. I could absolutely just do what I want on the job and then redo it as a flip. But I don't have the patience to... And I'm just too... It bothers me. It just bothers me. I mean, it's like... It's really hard for me to, like, have these horrible colors put together. I just... It's really... I can't do it. And that rug, okay, I like that rug. But first of all, they're asking you to use it too much. Secondly, it only comes in one size. Why couldn't they have it in several different sizes? Because a lot of the times they've wanted you to use it. It's so stupid because it's this big area and then that small rug. And it's just like, wait, seriously, how hard was it to do this in two more sizes, let's say? Right? Couldn't have been that hard. I mean, granted, I don't do any 3D stuff, so I will cheerfully admit that I do not know what I'm talking about. But it seems to me that it wouldn't have taken that much more work. And there were like, what, two rugs in this DLC? That one and the, uh, and the, the one with the dogs and the, you know, the patterned one. Maybe a couple others. I don't think so, though. But seriously, one rug and... You don't make it in multiple sizes. Actually, two rugs. Because the patterns, um, you know, like pet-themed one, that only comes in one size. So it's like, seriously. I mean, come on. It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I mean, how many situations are you going to have where it's either too big or too small? Probably a fair amount. So it just, I don't know. I don't get it, but right. So, right. So there's two versions of the, of the 
fuzzy one, um, fluffy one, whatever it is. The, yeah, the, and then they've got the dog one. And none of them have variable sizes. Which I don't understand at all. Um, I understand that they run out of time and stuff, but... And I understand that, like, everything has to be playtested. But, I mean, seriously. Uh, I, I just feel like we kind of got gypped with the whole rug situation in, in this DLC. Um, and the curtain situation, I mean... So, this is another thing I don't get. They gave us all those new curtains... And if I remember, you can't, there's like, they only come in one color. So it's, they gave us all these new curtains, but unless you want a white curtain, you're out of luck. Right. That too. I thought that was just strange. Why did you, so why did you make one rug that matches one version of wallpaper and not make a rug for the other version? It's just, it's it's really strange the way they do things. I mean, obviously I love the game and it's infinitely replayable. Maybe not infinite, but pretty close. And there just are some weird decisions, not to mention that they, they don't really seem to fix a lot of bugs. Maybe it's me, but it seems like there are some quirks that never go away. And I think, I mean, they're not quirks that, like, will will keep you from finishing the game or finishing a job, but they're annoying. So, I just feel like after four years that some of these problems should be cleared up. But, hey, that's just me. You know, people always say that when they're sure they're right. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Um, I, I'm sure they're a small team and I do recognize that, but I mean, and they've released a lot of DLC content for free, which is really great, but it would have been nice if some things were balanced out, uh, as far as quantity, you know, cause there are some things we have a ton of things of. And other things we, we have like nothing or no variations or it's just strange. So. So. Um, I'm not sure. Elo, I'm not sure if you were following me yet when this happened. But before I got the job I'm in. I was in another job. Uh, on campus. And. There was a, I don't like to say superior, but it's the easiest way to say it. Superior who was um, not easy to deal with. And they got a new assistant just like about two months before I left. Maybe not even that. I don't know. That person has left already. So I've been at my new job six weeks. So we're talking probably about three months I, and actually, I don't know when this assistant left, to be honest. I just found out that they had today. So, um, I remember thinking, wow, I wonder how long she's going to last. I remember talking to an, another EA with about, about it. And we were like, uh, you know, she has to stay at least, at least six months because it doesn't look good on your resume otherwise. And, um, yeah, so this person who really made me very miserable for a few months um, is just not able to hold on to people. So um, I wasn't gleeful, but my thought was, although I don't know what happened, I'm assuming the assistant left, maybe went back to her old job. I'm pretty sure that she would not have been let go. I'm almost 100% sure. So someone today who, I'm trying to think of the right way to say this. 
I was talking to someone today about it and uh, let's see. Um, this is like, I'm trying to get this right. Um, I like, I think that I probably could have told them what had, what had been going on, but I am relatively discreet and I just thought it was not a great idea. So I was very, very, very vague and I talked about the culture change and stuff like that. You know, the culture was different from who was, you know, um, in that position before and stuff like that. But I think this person was not a moron and can probably read between the lines. So, um, so I immediately <laughs> texted and messaged on LinkedIn a bunch of people who like had either been <laughs> scarred <laughs> by interacting with this person or had heard the saga from me when I was like talking about some of the stuff this person had done. So, um, yeah, I was like, I was immediately, as soon as I, like, I, I found out, uh, and my husband picked me up. I was, I was picking something up and then found out and I like got in the car, told him and like immediately started texting and like, um, uh, contacting on LinkedIn, like everyone who had, who had known this whole saga. But it's like, it's one of those things that it, it's like, you know what? Karma can take a while. It, it can take a while. It's been, you know, like 10 months. But I think that karma is going to probably bite this person in the ass more than just losing their assistant. And I don't have any particular, like, I don't hold a grudge, which is something that people have been frustrated <laughs> with me about over the years I like to just kind of move on you know I I don't hold on to bad feelings um I I stopped talking to the person who was my best friend in like high school and college part of college but it was a very considered decision um that I arrived at after a lot of thought that this was someone who had hurt me a lot in the past and um, was only not hurting me now just because we are not like geographically nearby and stuff like that. But that it still wasn't healthy for me to, to be in touch with this person anymore. So that was like not a decision born out of anger or anything um hang on hang on i'm just catching up with you um blah, blah, blah. oh you haven't turned it oh you've been playing animal crossing yeah i've neglected mine seriously oh yeah 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 isn't that weird i agree with you i'm like wait they are they so they announced house flipper farm they announced house flipper 2 it's just like i thought that was i thought like seriously they're they're putting all this on themselves um it's a little it's a little surprising um and yeah i mean so so anyway the upshot of what i'm trying to say is i i don't hold a grudge um I, I'm not like vengeful in any way. I had to be persuaded by my husband and a friend of his to file an EEOC complaint after I was fired three weeks after I was diagnosed with MS. Cause I, I, I was just like, yeah, you know, I just, I just want to move on. I don't really, you know, I just want to put it behind me. I'm not, I'm not interested in, yes, it sucked. And it was a horrible thing for the, per, for the owner of the company to do. And but I just, I just don't care. I don't, I, it's not something that I think is healthy. And they were like, listen, he's doing this to other people. He's taking away people's hours, people who have been with the company for decades, who have cancer and, you know, have given, have given 
you know, their whole professional career to this, to this company. And now they're being thrown out like the trash and you can do something like they can't retaliate at this point, but you can do something cause you're not there anymore. And I was like, oh man, you're, you're, <laughs> you know where to hit me. Like, I'm not going to do it for myself. Cause I just, I just didn't care. I would, I had like completely moved on, but, um, you know, I would, I was like, okay, fine, fine, I'll do it. And the funniest thing was before we even, I think before I even, maybe before I even filed the EEOC complaint. So I don't think he knew it was coming. No, he wouldn't have known it was coming because I filed it at like the very, almost the very last day before um, the period of time I could do it would have expired. It was like six months. So, so I'm sure he had forgotten. Um, I get an email and so the company was, and I don't really care about, you know, mentioning what this is. The, so the company, oh my gosh, I forget the name of the company, but the website was toiletpaperworld.com. So it was, it was a custodial supplies um, company, I guess mainly custodial and safety and, you know, stuff like that. And, um, so I had it on my resume. I have no idea why. I mean, I was there for a couple months. And um, so what I was hired for at that company was to market the website because of all the experience I had. So I was good at it. And so, so my resume on my personal page apparently was, according to his really pissed off email that I got from him, was, um, was topping... I'm not sure if we had Google then or if it was, eh, I think it was still pretty new, um, was topping the search results ahead of the actual website. So when people put in toiletpaperworld.com, the first result they got was my resume. And he was like saying, you have to take that off your resume, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I wrote back and I was like, hey, Ken, Remember you hired me to because I'm good at at marketing websites? That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> That's exactly what I did and that was the result. And I guess it's kind of a shame that you fired me, isn't it? Um So, but I wasn't like it wasn't something like I was I, I didn't seek it out. I I wasn't like obsessively looking to see how you know, I mean, it didn't even occur to me. Um, but then I think the lawyer said that it would be a good idea to take it off just because um, I didn't want to, it, it, so that I wouldn't look like I was uncooperative over something that was actually fairly slight. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, I don't care. I just thought it was hysterical um, that, you know, the guy had fired me and then got mad at me for being good at the very thing that um, he hired me for. So, yeah. Yep. But, um, yeah, I don't know. People are weird. Luckily, I have to say, at the university, I have run into very few people who I felt were really difficult or hard to work with even faculty who can be very prima donna ish um i really haven't had anyone that i had problems with so it's actually better than the private sector because private sector a lot of times they just had complete license to be complete and total jerks and frequently were oh wow i'm gonna have to that's gonna be interesting um Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more, and then, uh, sadly, it takes my compu my current computer about 15 minutes to load up House Flipper because of all the stuff I'm subscribed to. Um, I, that will change with my new computer. But, um, so I'm, I'll finish this stream, and then I won't actually be on for probably 15 minutes. And I actually, I actually got unsubscribed. <laughs>
You have no funny stories. You've been a stay at home mom for, you do realize that you should specify. You don't have any funny stories about the workplace, <laughs> but you do, I'm sure have funny stories. Um, I'm, I'm sure you do. Um, that was hysterical though. That guy was such a jerk. He was very strange too. He was, he was like the kind of person that you're just not comfortable with them. Um, there's, there's, I remember like the, the team that he had put together to work on the website. We were supposed to have a meeting. We're all sitting there waiting for him in the conference room. And he comes in and he doesn't apologize for being late, of course, you know, obviously. But um, he starts talking about how his teenage daughter hates him. They had gone out for ice cream the night before and blah, blah, blah. I don't remember what he was talking about. I don't, obviously, I don't, it wasn't important to me then. And it certainly is not something I would have remembered. But he was going on and on and on and on about this. So he stops talking and everyone is just intensely uncomfortable. Um, and no one says anything. And, and me being the kind of person that like can't stand like being in a room with people who are uncomfortable. I was like, well, you know, teenagers, that's kind of what they're supposed to do. You know, they're supposed to rebel against their parents. And I think everyone just like breathed a sigh of relief because no one like had any idea what to say. And I just made, made it sound kind of joking. And then he kind of got over it or whatever. But I was just like... And then there was a time when he brought in, his wife was working for some charity and they were collecting, you know, um, clothing donations and then selling them. He brings in a clothing rack into the office and says, we all have to buy something off of it. And it was just like, you know, this is incredibly inappropriate. Um, I don't think that that charitable organization would want you to be doing this. It was just so weird. The guy was so weird. It was so uncomfortable. But um, anyway, so there's my cleaning for the day because, you know, I'm not going to be doing it in real life. Um, not at the end of the day. And so I'm going to uh, log off, log on to House Flipper, and I will be back in about 15 minutes. So I just want to say thank you for everyone who came by and who's watching the VOD. Um, Ilua, thank you so much for coming by. Hopefully you'll have time to check in in one of the House Flipper streams. And um, so I just want to say thank you again. Um, I, do, I do have some funny stories. Some are appropriate for the stream. Others are not. Yeah, tell me about it. I think I've told the one about that. The one that comes to mind about my son, he was like, I don't know, maybe four, somewhere between three and four, I think. And I was giving him like a big hug, you know, putting him to bed, giving him a big hug. And he gave me a big hug and he kind of pulled back a little and he looked up at me with this adorable little face and said, mommy. And I was like, yeah, honey. And what is it? Mommy, I just got snot in your hair. And I was, and he's like still smiling. And I was like, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> you know? I got a hug out of it. So it's the end of the day. I'm going to wash my hair anyway. But it was just so funny. It was like he looked like he had just the sweetest, like most loving expression on his face when he said it. It was just hysterical. So anyway, um, really, that's funny because someone it was either you or someone else said that. Um, I don't know why, because I end the first stream. And then start a new one. But that obviously is a Twitch issue. So what are you going to do? It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll... Um, yeah, so I'm not planning to, like, take a break per se. I'm just going to have to sit here and wait while the game loads. So I will be on as soon as it's as soon as soon it's up. So anyway, um, and I just want to say to everyone, um, take care of yourself. Uh, there are still a lot of people I talk to who... Um, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where everyone thinks you should be fine now because things are getting very close to normal. Do you remember that there are repercussions that 
that of, of all the stress you've been dealing with and all the uncertainty the last two years, please, please get some professional help. Talk to a professional. Talk to a hotline if you feel like you're not doing well. Don't just wait for it to get better because it may not. It may and it may not get better on its own. So please, please take care of yourself. And obviously this applies if you know someone who you know is struggling. Don't let them just brush it off. So um, anyway, in a nutshell, take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.